Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today I want to show you how to make um, a birthday invitation or a holiday card in Cricut Design Space. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do is to get your basic invitation um, shape. So we'll come over here to the left hand panel and get shapes and square. Now you'll want to resize this to either 4x6 or 5x7. Um, I'm going to do 4x6 just because I can cut two 4x6s off of one piece of paper. 5x7s uh, you can only cut one at a time. Okay, before I resize this though, I want to get the background on there. So in order to get the background, what I need to do is come over to my right menu here and change my square from a cup to a print. So I'll come up here and click print. And then once it's changed to print, you'll have this option for patterns right here. So click patterns. And you'll see all the different um, background patterns you can use in Cricut Design Space. You can also upload your own patterns, which is what I've done with these. Um, you can purchase digital paper and upload it into Cricut Design Space and get your own patterns in here. But if you scroll down, you'll see all these um, patterns that you can use for backgrounds. Um, I'm actually going to be using this watermelon one right here. But I want to show you that you can search this. You don't have to just scroll through all of this because there are like a thousand backgrounds. You can come down here to collections and you can search um, by different types, wedding, summer, Halloween, Christmas. Um, you can come to filters and you can put in the colors that you are wanting your background to be and you can narrow it down that way. So I'm going to go ahead and put Oh no, don't do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the watermelon one. Where'd you go, watermelons? There you are. And so you will see it come over here and fill up this square with those little watermelons. Okay, now you want to leave your square, an actual square, and put your um, pattern on it. Do not resize it before you put your pattern on it or you're gonna get some um, cuts in the middle of your pattern. Okay, so now we can resize our square. So we wanna unlock it and we wanna make it a four by six. Okay, so there is the four by six square with the watermelon pattern. Okay, um, I'm gonna come turn this black ground back ground black and get rid of my grid lines so that you can see all this a little bit better. Okay, the next thing we want is the white um, middle portion of this to make the writing more clear. So we're going to come to shapes over here on the left again. We're going to get a square. We're going to come over here to the right change the square to a print and turn it white. Everything for this has to um, be on the print setting because you're going to print these invitations. Okay, I'm going to size my square again to 4 by 6. To get the exact size that I have of my background. Then I'm going to lock it and make it a little bit smaller so I can just bring it in and see where I want to put it here on the background. Okay, I think that size is going to be perfect. Now to get it exactly centered, instead of just eyeballing it, you want to come and select both layers here. Then you want to align up here on the top center horizontally first and then you want to select everything again align center vertically and now that white square is perfectly centered in the middle of your watermelon background and to make sure it doesn't move select everything again and come over here to the right tab and group it together that way when you move something these two pieces will stay together. They won't come apart. 
Okay, so there is your basic background. Uh, to get your design, you can come over here into images and find some cute little images. You can just do text and you know add your text in there with whatever fonts you have. Um, you can purchase clip art that you download into Design Space. I have already got my, um, let's see, where'd you go? I've already got my design pre-made so that we could save a little time here. If I can get it to show you. Okay, there is the design. Um, I had this one in a melon already made up. Um, I was doing some birthday, little first birthday things, and uh, I had this file already created, so I figured I'd just use it to be quick and easy here. Um, so you would just type in all of your text, do your alignment to make it look however you want it. Um, you know, I had my file already done. I am going to pull in one thing from the images though, just to show you kind of how to get everything in there. I want to put a banner up here. So I'm going to come to images and banner is already typed in there for me. So it's going to pull up some banners. I'm going to scroll down. This again is where that Cricut Access really comes in handy. All of these A's are things available with Cricut Access. And most of the stuff that's not available with Cricut Access, you have to purchase. So Cricut Access is wonderful. There's the banner I wanted. And again, it's an access banner. Okay, so I've highlighted the banner that I want. I'm going to insert the image. And there's a few different things we need to do with this because it's a cut image and we don't want to cut it. Okay, I'm going to change the colors for one thing. I'm going to come in here to this purple line and I'm just going to kind of make it a creamish color to begin with. I don't know if I'm going to keep it that way. Okay. My blues on the end, I would like to turn, I'm going to come up here and print so I can see all the print colors I already have. Let me make those green. And then my little yellow ones, I'm going to print and make them white. These pink ones, I'm going to print, make them another color of pink. Okay, that white isn't going to work because the invitation's on a white background. So I'm going to come back in and just change its pink color. Okay, now I need to go to my little string here and set it to print. I forgot to do that. Okay. It could be better. It's not terrible. I'm just going to roll with it. So to get it on here, I want to resize it. It's way too big for my invitation right now. I want to pull it up and kind of place it where I want it to go. Oops, undo. Okay. Click my banner again. I want to rotate it. Make it smaller. still needs to be a little bit smaller. This is a good reason to put the black background on here though, because if my background here was white, you might not see that these parts are sticking out. And if they're sticking out, they're going to print that way and we don't want that. So let me make it a little bit smaller. Okay. I have decided I want the banner right here. So I know I need to keep going smaller until those ends don't stick off the paper. There you go. Okay, so there is the invitation, the basics of it. Um, I don't want anything to move on here, so I'm going to select everything and group it all together so that nothing moves 
like happened a second ago when I had to undo it. Okay, so there's a few different options from this point. You can, um, first of all, save your project. That's very important. If you want to send these off to a print shop, this is what you'll do. You'll come in here and save your project. And then you'll actually close out of it. Okay. Then you'll want to come back in here, open it up. And from this part right here, don't go any further, you want to right click your invitation, your picture, save image as, and name it whatever you want to name your file. I'll just name mine watermelon. And that picture, that only that picture will save to your computer as a JPEG. Let me just go in and show you. Click out of here. <laughs> Making sure my file is safe to download. <laughs> okay. Okay, and here's the image that it saved to my computer in a JPEG format. So you could just send that right off to the print shop and um, print up however many you need. If you're wanting to cut them at home, uh, what you need to do here is draw another square or get another square for the Cricut to cut. Right now it's going to print all of this. So what I want to do is click on this image and hit flatten so that it knows this is one thing to print as a solid full image. Okay, it flattened it for me. So now no revisions can be made to this flattened image. It's, it's done and good to go. And then I need to get a square, so I'm going to come back to shapes and get a square. Okay, I'm going to make my square 4 by 6 again, so I want to unlock it. Now I'm going to turn my square a color that's really going to stand out so that I can see it when I'm resizing it. I'm going to leave it as a cut because we want to cut this square out. So I've turned it a bright red. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Oh, lock it back up. And now make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to arrange, move to back and I'm going to put it behind my invitation. So, now it's too big. We don't want that much to cut away from our design, so I'm going to shrink it down a little, move it a little. Let's see. I think it's probably still a little too big. So I'll shrink it some more. Move it. I'm using my arrows to move now. Let's see. Oh, that moved too far. Okay. Now what's going to happen um, is it's going to cut this red square and it's going to print everything in the middle. This red square will not be red. Um, it'll be whatever color your paper is. So I would assume you're doing this on white photo paper because that's probably the best way to print an invitation. Um, before I can do this, though, I need to attach these two items so it knows to print this on top of the cut. So attach. OK. 
Now I'm going to hit make it and I'll show you, actually let me duplicate. Select all, duplicate. Now you're going to see another invitation pop up. All right, there's the other invitation. Now I'm going to come over here to make it. And it's going to sort my project. Okay, there it is. You can see I've got two invitations on one 8x10 piece of paper. You can see it's going to print first and then cut. So it will print my pretty little invitation and then it will cut that um, square out. So you'd have perfectly done invitations. You just do this however many times you need and your invitations are done. That's it guys. It's really, really easy to make invitations in Cricut Design Space. See you next time.